day nine and it is another wet start but kettle's on I am actually stupidly contemplating going for a swim this morning um, don't have to leave here till at half ten uh, so I'm gonna wait hopefully the rain stops it's only about seven o'clock in the morning seven thirty maybe so watch this space might go for a cold swim well, it did stop raining for about five minutes so I thought take this opportunity go for a quick dip I'd say swim as well but I didn't I kind of swam about 10 feet uh, that water is so clear really fresh um, my only issue is the uh, all the stones I need to buy a pair of them like beach booties <laughs> um, and uh, but yeah the water is warmer than the rain at the minute so I just kind of get past the <sighs> and it's really nice but it's now absolutely chucking it now I've got to pack away my tent in a minute but I don't need to leave about another hour so got the tent down to about 10 minutes um, and then I'm off to uh, a place just a bit north of here recommended by Ed uh, Carmichael said to go check out this gingerbread shop so I'm going to do that Goddard suggested to go to a place called the Bridge House in Ambleside um, I hope it's better than it sounds uh, going to do that then I'm going to go to Windermere um, and just stop off at like the, the museum I think they've got there or the kind of guest uh, centre just kind of check that out um, then into the gym at Kendall uh, and then I'm off to tonight's combination which is in Newcastle I'm in Grasmere just made a little jaunt north uh, on, on Ed's recommendation to go to there um, really popular place I'll stick up a couple of pictures um, but they did an express queue for, for the greedy burgers that just wanted their hands on some gingerbread and to get out as quickly as possible um, Oh wow, it's all like it comes hand wrapped. This is amazing. I bought a pack of 12. The guy did say it keeps for a week. And it's going to last a journey to Newcastle, to be honest. Oh my gosh. When you look at that. Apparently, you can order this online, so. Oh man, the smell outside the shop was incredible as well. I'm actually salivating. That's pretty damn good. That is not like any gingerbread I've ever had wow highly recommend it if you can't bother to drive all the way up here just order it online <laughs> I think I found that um, boathouse in Ambleside um, put up some pictures to that right now um, pretty like 17th century pretty cool um, the only thing with Ambleside and Grasmere is that the place was just packed it's just people in the street constantly like none of the shops are particularly like big so everyone's kind of just in the streets constantly um, which made it I think it's just really dangerous be honest but um but beautiful absolutely stunning place um 
and now I've just come to uh, Windermere like Jetty Museum um, bit expensive like nine quid bit of a rub to be honest um, to walk around and see some old bows um, but cool like nice I'll put up some pictures of those in a second um, and they are uh, lovely I think if we're spending the day here um, it'll probably be alright because you can kind of hang out in the um, camping area, uh, campsite, uh, campfire area even, um, and and yeah, just kind of be on the on the on the lake. But you don't have to pay that to to, to do those activities anyway. You know, so it does seem a bit of a bit bit extreme. Um, and then the cafe is pretty basic as well. But um, but yeah, glad I came because Windermere just looks beautiful. So there'll be a, a few pictures there as well. Um, now I'm off to the gym. I'm too far from here, I'm on a bridge. Slightly different setting. Um, I've just arrived in Newcastle. Um, and not camping tonight. There's nowhere apparently um, I could find anyway that you can kind of camp in around this area. Um, I wanted to go to the gym at Gateshead in the morning, so I wanted to kind of be close there, but nowhere to camp. To camp. So I'm in like a kind of serviced house. Um, it's kind of just a, yeah, multi let room scenario. Uh, pretty cheap. In fact, the cheapest place on booking.com, £16 for the night, bargain. Um, and yeah, a bit, I was a bit melancholy when I left uh, the Lake District earlier on. I liked it so much, it was so peaceful. Being by the water, I don't know, something really calming about that. And um, yeah, it was just, just cool, just liked and, and really, really enjoyed it. The people were nice. Everyone was in such a nice vibe. Um, and yeah, just that, that pace of life is cool. Um, and then the roads driving around there, amazing. Been the drive here though, incredible. The A685, um, really cool. You get, uh, and, and when you get onto, as you come into County Durham, uh, the landscape completely changes. Um, and it's just beautiful. Um, and annoyingly though, um, as across the Pennines, there's a stop where it's literally called Pennines View. Um, and it was, the cloud cover was so low, it was so misty that I couldn't get a good enough photo of it. So if anybody does do that drive across the Pennines, make sure you stop uh, and get some pictures. Because I can imagine on a clear day, it's, it's absolutely stunning. Um, yeah, really quite grateful. I've got a, a proper bed tonight. Um, it's gonna be, yeah. I mean, I'm, sleep the last few nights have been pretty cool anyway. Um, last night, um, I was sat down by the lake with my feet in the water watching Star Wars. I had like four cans of beer. Um, so by the time I went to bed, zonked out, woke up at like seven o'clock this morning. Um, so it was, yes, yeah, so it was a nice, nice rest anyway. Um, but yeah, I think just to have a little bit more peace, I suppose, at night, maybe a little bit less noise, hopefully, maybe there'd be some police sirens around this way. I'm literally on the cusp of Biker Grove. Biker Grove, man. Um, so yeah, it's quite, it's quite cool. Uh, I'm gonna go drive to, to St. James's Park either tonight, probably tomorrow morning. Um, but uh, apparently there's, a, there's some decent bars to go to at Quayside, um, I'm gonna check out uh, tonight. Um, but at the minute I've got some washing on. Um, my car was beginning to stink. All my clothes are just wet. Um, my trainers, my espadrilles, everything stinks. 
Um, so I needed to do some washing, uh, fast running out of clothes. Um, so yeah, I've got a machine on, um, can't get them dry, gonna have to take them to the laundry in the morning. Wait and see really. Uh, but yeah, Newcastle, why yeah, man. Ha <laughs> ha 